Hi, Jack Bennett here. Welcome to The Big Drum. Today I'm going to show you a neat little lick that you can play in triplets uh, that involves the snare and moves right around the toms. It moves along fairly quickly and it works really well at slow or medium, slow medium tempos. This is the pattern. I'll play it for you and then I'll break it down. So you can see the actual pattern moves pretty quickly, okay, you're playing 30 second note triplets or sextuplets which are six per beat, um, but I'm not actually playing at a fast tempo, you know, this sort of tempo here, okay, it's definitely not, you know, an up tempo thing uh, or anything like that. So um, the actual pattern starts with an upbeat. Uh, like preceding beat one or preceding beat three and that is played with the left hand That's the first thing that you hear when you play one two three Okay, so that's the triplet before beat one Let's just put that aside and learn uh, the actual pattern played on the snare drum and around the toms The sticking pattern is just right left left for the start and then you play right left right bass drum okay so both of those units if you were to split it in half they're really common patterns we always use right left left okay we use that one a lot and this lick here just going we use that a lot too whether it's being played just like that or as part of maybe you know the Rademacu lick um, things like that. So they're both uh, really common patterns. So once again, the pattern is just right, left, left, right, first tom, floor tom, bass drum. Okay, so that first right is beat one, and the bass drum is beat two. So the six notes in between, they're evenly spaced, evenly spaced, and they are 30 second note triplets. One, two, three, four. Okay, and a little faster. And of course, I'm playing the triplet with the left hand as an accent before beat one or before beat three. It's the triplet before beat one or three. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Okay? Okay, so just throw that in as well. One, two, three, four. A nice little variation on this pattern is to add one more note on the snare drum. We change the sticking from right, left, left, going... And then the pattern at the end. Instead of playing right, left, left at the start, we're just going to play right, right, left, left. So double strokes. And then the pattern. So right, right, left, left, right, left, right. Okay, that's the pattern. And we do play the accent at the start, but we'll, we'll uh, throw that in at the end. So they're the seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then we're on land on beat two or four. Okay, when you put that in time, it's nice to play it just a little bit slower than the other lick. You know, if you're playing at a slow tempo rather than kind of a slow medium uh, tempo, this one, because it's got one more note, okay, seven instead of six, uh, it gives you that nice roll effect at, at slightly slower tempos as well. So you might use this one like, So once again, we have to add in that triplet, the upbeat, okay, before beat one or three. So that becomes one and a two and a three and a four and a, and then straight into the double. So just even get used to that to start with, just playing it in free time, just going right, right, left, left, right, left, right, bass drum, okay, because that's the pattern, that's the tricky part. It's almost like you're playing a five stroke roll at the start because you're playing right, right, left, left, right, and then you're moving into the toms. So it's like you're going one, two, three, four, five. So 
So these patterns work in other triplet-oriented styles as well, not just jazz, maybe the halftime shuffle. 